record. Yeah. So we're starting standing for those that were later to the class. Okay. And have a really good class. Um, nothing, it was a lot of planking today. So if your wrists are anyway sore, I'll give you an option to change that position to make it a little easier for yourselves. Okay. So do have the shorter bands handy just in case. I'm just going to make sure my microphone is on. <laughs> I pre recorded Saturday's class and I didn't have the microphone on. Let's do it all over again. Okay, so we're going to start standing. Okay, so come into the top of your mat and I'll face you for now. Bring the feet in underneath your hips, activate the glutes. Okay, so squeeze the bum together and bring the hands down by your sides. Okay, shoulders down away from the ears to bring attention to the position of the shoulders, but they're not drawing, drawing up here drop them down okay so consciously drop the, the shoulders down from there guys we're going to bring the arms towards the ceiling bring the hands reaching up towards the ceiling and open the hands nice and wide as if you're stretching out each finger individually okay and then bring the palms away bring the hands down back by your sides okay inhale to reach with palms facing each other and then exhale coming down with your palms facing your thighs okay inhale to reach up lengthen through that spine Exhale, come down with your hands resting by your side. So inhale to reach, keeping those glutes active. Exhale to come down. Inhale to reach. And exhale. Good. Inhale, reaching. Focusing in on each breath. Exhale. Two more. And exhale. One more. And exhale, coming down. Drop the shoulders down away from you. From there, just place your hands onto your shoulders. Okay, we're just going to roll the shoulders back. As you draw the shoulders back, I want you to squeeze the shoulder blades towards each other. Okay, so if you're squeezing them towards the spine, so draw them back, hold it. If I come towards the camera, it just means I'm letting someone into the class. Okay, so keep rolling the shoulders back. Okay, again, bring an awareness to the glutes, make sure that the glutes are active, squeezing those shoulder blades back, opening the chest as you inhale, open. Exhale as you draw the shoulders back down and around. Inhale to open. And exhale. Give me three more back. As you breathe in, open up. Two. And one more. Lovely stuff. We're going to go forward, guys. Okay, again, bring awareness to the glutes. So make sure the glutes are active. We're going forward with our shoulders. Okay, so rolling the shoulders forward, bringing the elbows forward. Again, as you open the chest, you inhale. So bring it as your arms go back this time, you're breathing in. Exhale as you close over and down. Breathing in as you expand through the chest, lifting the ribs up, expanding the lungs. Exhale to come down. Really focusing in on your breath here, guys. Good, slow rotation. Feeling a little bit of clunking going on the shoulders, a little clicking going on. This is why we need to mobilize them. Good. We're gonna go for another three more. Breathe in as you open that chest. Exhale as you bring those arms forward and down. I bring the elbows pointing forward, so bringing the arms close together and then drop them down. Give me one more, please. And exhale to come down. From there, just drop the arms back down where your side, okay? From here, guys, again, bring an awareness to the pelvis. I want you to tuck the pelvis in underneath your ribcage. And as you do that, automatically your glutes will tighten up, okay? They should do anyway. If they don't, I want you to consciously squeeze the bum together. Bring your feet in underneath your hips. And I just want you to place your hands on your hips and just rock forward slightly, forward and back onto the feet. And what we're doing here is we're grounding our body but we're also bringing awareness to where our feet are positioned. Because on a daily basis, these are things, these are the two things we don't really think about unconsciously. We tend to forget about our feet and they get neglected, okay? So they have to be activated also. So we're gonna focus in just rocking back and forth, just booting the weight forward onto your foot and then back onto your heels, okay? Bringing the toes down as you roll forward and then lifting them gently as you come back onto your heels, but not too much, okay? A nice gentle rock forward and back. You feel how hard the toes have to come down to stabilize you. And particularly when you roll back onto the heel, how hard they want to come down. Because they're gonna, you feel like you're gonna fall over. Okay, how hard the ankle has to work. Just give me another couple of these. 
do one more. Okay, I'm here from here, guys. Just bring the hands down by your side. I want you to close your eyes now for the next exercise. And again, just feel your feet fully ground onto the floor. Eyes are closed, please. Feel each toe connecting with the floor. Feel the weight distributed evenly through your both feet, okay? The forefoot, the middle part of the foot where the arch is, and then feel your heel. How strongly your heel is rested down and how even the weight is through both feet, okay? From here, guys, for the next few breaths, I want you to set your intention for the day. So as you inhale, I want you to think of something positive in your life. And then as you exhale, I want you to also think of something positive. So that will give you at least 10 positive things before you start the rest of your day out, okay? So as we breathe in, I want you to reach, keep your eyes closed. Breathe in, reach your hands towards the ceiling, hands facing each other. As you inhale, I want you to something positive. It doesn't matter what it may be. And then exhale, come down. Whether it's the breakfast that you had this morning, the lovely run you had, inhale to reach towards the ceiling. You're breathing in positivity. And then I want you to think of something positive as you exhale. Inhale to reach. It could be for this amazing task that you're doing. Inhale. And then exhale. That's three dogs. That's six, guys. Inhale to reach. We're going for it. Exhale, another two. That's two more. And last one. And then slowly exhale. Bring your eyes back to open, please. So open those eyes slowly. Okay, and drop the shoulders down away from the ear. From there, guys, I want you to reach your hands forward, hands facing each other. We're going to bend the knees slightly, okay, and hold this position. From there, guys, you're going to hinge at the waist. Inhale, stay, and then exhale, bending forward with your hands, reaching your fingers towards the floor, keeping your knees in a bent position, and reach those fingertips down towards the floor. We're going to hold this position for a moment. Bring your palms down if you can, and if that's too difficult, just bring your hands onto the outer part of your shins, okay? Take an inhale here, and on the exhale, I want you to just bring the hands down the backs of the legs or closer to the floor, bring your chest down towards your legs a little bit deeper. Bend the knees a little bit deeper. Push your heels down into the mat a little bit stronger. Sitting back into this nice squat position and holding it. If you can, if you find it too difficult or you're not that quite so flexible in this area, it doesn't matter. Just focus on pushing your weight down to the heels and bringing your chest down as close as you can towards those thighs. And if you, if you find that holding the backs of your thighs is a bit easier, do that by all means, okay? And then if you're a little bit more flexible, you can walk your hands down closer to the mat. Okay, just pull this and really feel how hard the thighs, the backs of the thighs, the front of the thighs and the glutes are working in this position. From there, guys, I want you to wrap your arms around the backs of your legs as if you're hugging your legs. And we're going to take a breath in. And on the exhale, I want you to push your knees back as if you're trying to straighten out your legs and bring your eye line down, okay? Straight, straight, straight. As, as straight as you can go without damaging yourself. So you only push as far as that body allows you, okay? Just get a nice bit of pressure at the lower part of the thigh, at the back of the knee, okay? Holding this. Slowly bring your hands back down towards the floor. Keep the legs straight. Inhale to stay. And then as you exhale, I want you to reach the arms long, back out in front of you. Keep the legs straight and slowly come up back up to a standing position and then bring your hands back down. Next we're going to do is hip circles. So standing on your left leg, hands on your hips, bring your right knee up to a 90 degree angle. Inhale as you rotate the leg out and rotate it right around. We're going circles with the hips, okay? Last form of exercise, guys. The nice circle with the hips. Good. Stabilizing with that standing leg. Nice strong standing leg, please. Good. If you need to bend the standing leg, you can by all means, please do. But otherwise, keep it locked out, squeezing that glute. We're going to go for one more, please. Lovely. And we're going to go the opposite way. So we're going to bring the leg out and around and back down. Okay? Nice circles. Open up that hip. Keep the hips facing forward. Try not to rotate too much. Okay? Keep going. Breathing in and out. Don't forget about that breathing that we've just done. Okay, well done. Slow it down. It's all about control. 
You shouldn't have to rest your foot down too much. Just give me one more please this way. Lovely. And rest that leg down, please. We're going to come onto the other leg. So stabilize on that opposite leg, please. And when you're ready, bring the other one up to 90. We're going to bring that leg out, circle it around, down towards the floor, and back around. If you're a little bit on, on balance on one leg, do put the foot down if you need to in between. So if you get to the floor and then rest for a moment and then bring it back around. Or as I said, if you need to bend the knee, give a little bit more stabilization when your knee is bent. Okay, a little bit stronger. Or you can hold on to something either, that's optional. Okay, well done. Give me one more after this one. Last one. And go the opposite way. Lovely. You might have a little sticking sensation in one hip, and um, it's quite common. And it's to do with the psoas muscle generally, uh, which is the hip flexor muscle. And it's kind of just sticking over the bone or flipping over the bone. And it also attaches onto the lumbar region. So you might feel it in, in your back slightly. So it can be from wear and tear or just that it's extremely tight. Okay, go one more, please. Lovely, bring the legs wide and just stick the bum away a little bit, Lean, leaning down to your right leg, down to your left, just to stretch out after that. Lovely, one more each side. Lovely stuff, and then pivot forward and staying with your right leg in front, please. Okay, and dropping down into a nice lunge position. We're going to inhale as we bring our hands in front and then exhale as we bring them back behind us, staying down in that lunge position. Inhale to reach forward and exhale to bring your hands back and away. Inhale, palms facing each other. And as you bring those hands back, it's like you're threading through water with your hands, palms away. Inhale, forward and back. Forward, back for three, two, and one, lovely stuff, okay. Bringing the weight forward onto that front leg, lifting forward a little bit with the back leg. We're just gonna lift, literally lift the back leg up and then place it back down, okay, bending the knee. Lifting up and then placing it back down. If your mat is really soft and you find that you can't balance, come onto the hard floor, okay. Lifting up and then coming back down. Lovely. Give me three more. Two. One. And dropping down. From there, bring the arms wide. Circle them around. Good. Doesn't matter, forward or back. Staying down in your lunge position, please. And the opposite way of the arms. Circle, circle. Lovely. And slowly come up. Flopping over legs, please. Bring that left leg in front, right leg behind. Make sure the front knee is over the ankles, dropping down with that back leg, okay? We're gonna reach the arms out in front, palms facing each other, sorry, and then exhale as you bring the palms away. Inhale, reaching forward, exhale. Inhale to reach, exhale. Inhale to reach, and exhale. For four, three, two, last one. Slowly leaning forward onto that front leg, shimmy the other leg slightly forward. Resting onto the ball of the foot of that back leg. Keep hands on the hip. Inhale to lift that back leg up. Stabilize, lift, and then bring it back down. Bend the knee. Inhale, exhale to shimmy forward, lift, and back down. Bend the knee. Inhale to lift. Good. And back down, bend the knee. Lovely. Inhale, lifting, reaching that leg back, hold it, and then drop back down. Good. For three more. 
Really focus on straighten that leg, please, when you reach it back. Two. Engage the glutes. Last one, please. Nice. Really good. Well done. Excellent. Okay, from there, guys, come back into that lunge position. Arms are long and wide, like an airplane. And that we won't see for a little while. And <laughs> circle the arms. Okay, circle those arms, please. Good, sorry, someone just got logged out. They're trying to get back in. Okay, circle, circle. Well done. Next couple of exercises, we're going to be doing a lot of planking. So, I hope you're ready. And the other way, please. Good, three, two, one, slowly come back up. Okay, come into the end of your mat, please. Okay, we're going to inhale to reach the arms nice and long. Cornelia, I hope you got back in. Exhale, coming down towards the mat and walk your hands forward into a plank position, please. We're going to hold the high plank, take an inhale, and then exhale, coming back into a downward dog position. Bring your backside towards the ceiling, nice and high, and push your heels down towards the mat. We're going to march the legs out, so bending the knees and getting a nice stretch along the Achilles and calf. That was a lovely one. Breathing in and out as you march the leg. Eye line down, looking at those feet. Lovely. For three, two, one. Lovely stuff. Come back into your high plank position, please. From there, guys, we're going to take an inhale. And on the exhale, I want you to bring your left knee in. Bring it back. Left knee into the right elbow. Bring it back. Right knee into right elbow. And back, right knee into left elbow. And back, left to left, left to right. Right to right, and right to left. Well done. Left, left, right, left, right, sorry. And we're on the right leg, right arm. Right leg, left arm. Stay with me. Left, left, and I keep talking through it. Left, right, right, right. Right, left. Nearly there, guys. Left, left. Left, right. Last one. Right, right. And right, left. Back into high plank. Hold. Push the heels away. Hold. For five, four, three, two, one. Bend the knees, please. Make your shell stretch, please. And back onto your hands and knees. Tuck the toes, please. Make sure your knees are under your hips and hip distance apart, okay? Hands under your shoulders and open the hands completely. Don't have them close together. Open those fingers and stretch out the hands. Tuck the toes when you're ready. I want a neutral spine, so don't stick the bum away and don't have it too tucked. Just a gentle tuck, a nice flat back. Inhale to stay and exhale to lift your knees up off the floor. Breathing. Okay, we're going to inhale to drop the knee down, exhale, bring it up. Inhale to lower, exhale to lift. Inhale to lower, exhale to lift. Both knees, inhale and exhale, good. Inhale to lower, exhale to lift. Give me three more and lift, good. And two and lift. Eye line looking between your hands, last one and lift, good. Drop and down, please and bring yourselves into shell stretch. Just when you're doing that one, Alan, make sure your knees are right under your hips so they're not slightly behind, okay? So keeping the knees under the hips. Not correcting. <laughs> okay, good. Hope you're all okay. Coming down onto your elbows, please. Interlock your fingers. Coming into another plank position. Full plank. <laughs> okay. Interlock the fingers, squeeze the glutes. All right. Elbows right under those shoulders. We're going to shimmy our weight forward and back. Forward onto the tips of our toes and then push back, stretching the heels. Forward, back. Lovely. Forward, 
and back for four, three, two, and one. Breath, drop the knees down, please. Coming into press up, please. We're going for 20 reps because we have for breast. Those that aren't used to it, you can do maybe eight, take a break, and then do another eight, okay? Three, two, one, and go. And you can do whichever level you want. The beginner, which is right over the, the hips, the hips over the knees. Or you can do these ones, slightly forward, or you can do the full ones. Okay, give me 10 more, please. 10, nine, eight, seven, flies by, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Come back onto your hands and knees. Okay, and bring yourself into a neutral position. So it does make a difference, guys, when your knees are slightly behind your hips, okay? Because automatically, you're putting extra pressure upon the hip flexors, okay? So make sure they're under your hips, okay? There is a difference, okay? From there, guys, we're going to take an inhale, and on the exhale, I'm going to get you to extend that left leg nice and long, okay? Pushing both hands nicely into the floor, and try not to kick that opposite hip out too much, okay? From there, we're going to tuck that knee in underneath us, reaching it between our two hands, and then we're going to extend back slowly, okay? Inhale to reach that knee in under. If your wrists are sore, come onto your fist. Okay, it'll open up the wrist. It'll take the pressure off. Rounding and pushing back. Inhale to bring the knee in under, knee between the two hands, and then bring it back. Last two, one more. Place your hands back down onto the mat and extend your opposite arm, keeping that leg lifted, please. Holding. We're gonna bring our hand and leg out, away from us, and then bring it back to center. Bring them out and back. For three more. Two. One, if you're finding this tough, you should be. It's not meant to be easy, okay? Challenging. By all means, don't think it's easy, okay? So don't give up if you're feeling sorry for yourselves, okay? And we're gonna go with the opposite side. So just check in with your pelvis, do a little tuck and release, and then bring yourself back into neutral, okay? So your lower back is flat. From there, extending the opposite leg, Okay, and make sure that the weight is nicely distributed there. We're going to tuck that knee in underneath you and then extend it away nicely. Okay, tucking and then reaching. Tucking it in underneath the two hands and then extend away. Lovely. Reach in between the two hands. It'll just get an extra, extra little bit of ab work going if you tuck a little bit more towards those hands. Lovely. Give me two more. One more. Well done. Hold, please. And reach that opposite hand and arm. Nice and long. Lovely. We're going to go out and in with our leg and arm. Good, just give me three more. Two. Make sure that head is lifted, don't drop it down. And one. Oh, tough. Come into shell stretch. You're all hoping my eyes aren't on you, but they are. So, be mindful of your eye line because once your eye line starts to come under your body, you start to lose balance. So, what you need to do is pick a point on the floor. Keep the neck open and long. Once you start to tuck, you're throwing your whole center of gravity off. Make sure your eye line is down. Okay. So from there, guys, we're coming onto our right side. Okay. And we're coming into side plank. So make sure your elbows directly under your right shoulder. We're going for a long side plank. Bring the top leg forward in front of the bottom leg. 
okay? And when you're ready, we're gonna come into side plank. You need to watch first you can. So my top leg is forward in front of my bottom foot. My right top, or left foot is in front of my right top foot in front of bottom. And then once you come into that position, drive up and hold. Make sure your lower elbow is comfortable under your shoulder, that you don't feel like it's gonna pop out. So ideally, it should be sitting nicely under the shoulder. We're gonna inhale, reach our hand down towards the floor, and then exhale to reach the ceiling. Follow it with your eyes. Inhale to reach the floor, exhale to ceiling. For three more. For two. For one. Hold. Hold. For three, two, one. Lower yourselves down, please. Okay? From there, bend your knees. Keep the elbow under the shoulder. Same thing, same position, but just with bent knee. Take an inhale, and then on the exhale, I get you to make a side plank again with knees stacked. You can bring your top leg into a straight line then, please, and rest your hand on your hip. We're going to lift and lower that top leg. Five more. If you can't do this, just hold the plank. Four, three, two, and one. Drop the knee down on top of the other leg. Bent knees, please. Okay? Then from there, guys, we're going to lift that leg and hold. Breathing. Holding. Bring the knee forward. And then push it back if you can, slightly behind. If you can't do that, just hold the elevated knee. For three more. Two. One more. Place the leg down and come down onto your side, resting fully down, please. Okay. If you want um, to grab your short bands, you want to make it more challenging you can wrap them around your thighs now i'll give you a couple of seconds optional start in five four three two we're going for straight leg lifts and one and lifting up and holding those with bands on you'll probably get to about hip height just holding that position anyone else can go a little bit higher okay get a glute activation and slowly coming back down. We're gonna lift up and hold for five, four, three, two, one, and slowly come back down. And lift, holding. Five, four, three, two, one, slowly for three, two, one, coming down. Lovely, lifting up. Feel how hard the external muscles of the stomach have to work to lift that leg also and stabilize, okay? They're working. Very hard, slowly come down. Lifting. Slowly down, good. Give me three more. Slowly down, two. Hold, three, two, one. Lower down slowly and last one for five, four, three, two, one. Coming down slowly back onto your front, please. Okay, we're back into press up position, so onto your knees. We'll go for 10 reps this time, okay? Drop the hips if you're on the knees. Make sure your glutes are active. You're bringing chest to floor for 10 reps. Then go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, come on, 3, 2, 1. Lovely stuff. Coming onto your opposite side, please. We'll do the side plank on the opposite side. Okay. So bring your elbow underneath you and make sure the top leg is in front of the bottom foot. Top foot in front of the bottom foot. Okay, three, two, one. I always start with a bent knee to assist me up and then as I come up, they straighten out. Once you feel secure, that your elbow is safe, your shoulder is safe, then release. Okay. Holding. We're going to reach that hand towards the floor as you breathe. In and exhale to bring it to the ceiling. Inhale to bring it down. Exhale to reach. Good. For two more. One more. Lovely stuff. 
Keep your hand here if you want and hold or on your hip. For three, two, one, gently come down. Okay, bend your knees, stack in your knees, feet behind, elbow under your shoulder. When you're ready, we're coming into side plank again. Three, two, one, and up you come. Make sure your knees, hips, shoulder are in line when you look down. If they're not, don't be scared to come out and correct yourself. It's very important to have your posture right. Extend the top leg, okay? If you're strong enough, lift it up. If you're strong enough. Okay, and lower. Lift and lower. Seven, eight, give me one more, give me one more. And drop it down, bend the knees, please, okay? And we're gonna lift that knee, holding it here, guys. And everybody who's don't, like if you don't feel strong enough to bring the leg forward and back, just hold this plank position. If that's too much, just keep the knee down. Everybody else, drive the knee forward, push it back. For five, four, three, two, and one, bring back and down, and slowly come down in three, two, drop it down, please. Press your body onto the floor, nice long line. Okay, make sure your ankles, knees, hips, shoulders are in a straight line. Okay, from there, lifting that top leg, holding for three, two, one, and coming down. Lifting up, holding for five, four, three, two, one, slowly come down. Lovely, and lift. And two, and one, and down, good. Lifting up, holding. Three, two, one, and down. Give me three more, lifting up. We okay, Orla? <laughs> Hold and down, nothing worse when you're caught. Taking a break, last two. Lift up and hold. Glad you have that band, Alan. <laughs> and down. And last one. Good, hold, three, two, hold it up. Come on, hold it. And down, lovely. Good stuff, okay. Come onto your backs, everybody. So everyone's different, so you only go as high as your leg can go. Don't go higher and struggle and then drop it down. Just go as far as you feel comfortable when you're doing those side leg lifts. And slowly bring the leg back down. Then rather than foaming it up and dropping it, I'd rather you go lower down, hold it wherever you feel comfortable, and then slowly bring it down. So everybody's different. Okay, some people are stronger than others. It's about building from where you are rather than trying to achieve greatness and then fail at that and then try and then get discouraged by it. So go a little bit less high, um, I suppose, high. So if you're struggling at kind of getting it up quite high and you're aiming to do that, bring it back down, even lower than hip distance, even a little bit off the floor and back down. Everyone's different. Okay, so do try that, please. Okay. And practice it at home. From now, onto your back, please. Nothing under the head. You can keep the bands on your legs if you have them on. Okay, and we're going to go into bridge position. Hands down onto the floor, palms facing the floor. We're going to take a breath in. As I said, nothing under the head. And on the exhale, we're going to drive our hips to ceiling. Okay, make sure your knees are in line with your hips, that they're not going outwards or too close together. Keep that space between your legs, please. Okay. Squeezing the glutes, we're going to hold this bridge position. Resting on the lower part of your shoulder base. If you have any impingement in your lower back, come down, small bit, okay? Where you're taking the pressure off your lower back. So roll onto near mid spine then, rather than resting up too high on your upper back, okay? From there, guys, we're going to inhale as we reach our hands to the back of the room. Hands are facing each other, rest them back. And then exhale, coming all the way back down by your sides, resting them on the floor. Inhale to reach the arms back. Exhale, coming down by your side. Staying up in your bridge, you do not move those hips, they stay up. Inhale to reach. Exhale, come down. Good, inhale to reach. And exhale. Lovely. Exhale. I find it's a really good one because your back is an extension and it's driving the rib cage 
kind of making the rib cage expand and then you're breathing into this, which is really good and you're getting a lovely stretch. Give me one more, please. And down by your side, onto the floor with your palms. Take an inhale and then on the exhale, slowly come down one vertebrae at a time, rolling through your spine, upper to lower, and then release down. Just bring your knees into your chest and rocking side to side. Lovely. And then from there, place your feet back onto the floor. Again, those who have bands on can leave them on. We will be doing more glute activation in a moment. So bring your hands behind your head and uh, they come in handy for the ab work as well. Feet onto the floor, uh, elbows are back, okay? So really drive those elbows back and behind your ears. You shouldn't see them. Inhale to stay and then exhale, we're coming into ab breath, okay? Don't pull your chin to your chest. You don't pull on your head. Keep the space between your chin and your neck, okay? Inhale to lower. Head rested into your hands at all times. Exhale to come up. Your eye line should be at your knees. Inhale to come down. Exhale to come up. Lower down as you breathe in. Exhale. As you breathe in, don't be scared to lift the ribs. Breathe in, breathe in. Lift, lift, and exhale. Lift up as you breathe in. Lift the ribs. Exhale. Because if you don't, you'll affect the diaphragm. And we don't want that. So breathe into the center. Exhale. Good. Two more. One more. Lovely stuff. Press your head down. Just keep your hands where they are for now. Bring yourselves into imprint. Bring one leg to tabletop. If you're strong enough, bring the other leg with it. If this is too much, keep your feet down, please, okay? We're going for obliques, take an inhale. Anyone with bands on, just pull your legs slightly apart. And then on the exhale, we're gonna bring our right armpit towards our left knee, okay? Inhale to come down to center, rest your head onto the floor. Exhale to rotate the other side. Inhale to center. Exhale, rotate. Lovely. Breathe in and rotate. Very important to exhale as you come up, guys. So inhale to lower. Rotate to the opposite side, good. Nearly there. Look, three more. Two. The last one. Lovely stuff, okay, from here. Keep your legs up. I want you to grab uh, the outer shin, sorry. From here, guys, take an inhale and on the exhale, coming up into a sit-up position, okay? So you're looking at your legs now, sitting up, looking at your legs. From here, guys, I'm gonna get you to bring your knees closer to you slowly, and you're gonna kind of feel your abs crunching a little bit more, okay? Just squeezing those abs a little bit closer, as if you're gonna kiss your knees, okay? And then what I want you to do is extend the legs if you can, and then keep your hands on your thighs and then out and in with the legs and then bring them back in towards you, okay? Out and in with the legs. If you need to rest your head down, do. That's fine. Extend the legs. If you, you can do it with your head on the floor, you won't get as much of an ab crunch, but you're still working the core abdominal. Okay, bring the knees closer as if you're lifting the lower spine off the mat and then extend out, in. Good, keep the hands just on the outer part of the thighs at the back of the knee, out, in, lovely, out, in, give me two more, this is the leg, one more, lovely, okay, rest the head down please, bring the knees into your chest, hug yourself, you deserve it, I think, no, you definitely do. okay. And then from there, just bring the legs back into tabletop position, hands down by your sides, okay? We're gonna go for toe taps. Uh, anyone with bands on will feel a little bit more resistance, but I want you to pull the opposite knee towards you as you bring the other one away. So bring that right foot towards the floor, tip down with your toes, bring it back up to 90. If you put the band on, push in with it as the other leg drops, push in the opposite way with the, towards you with that other leg, okay? So push away and push towards, good. Use the band on. Otherwise, just focus on the toes, reaching towards the floor, keeping your imprint of your lower back. Keep moving through this movement, guys. Don't stop. 
um, focus on keeping the imprint, okay, and reaching those toes down as close to the floor as you can go. If you can only go halfway without losing the imprint, that's fine, okay? Or if you just feel that staying in tabletop is enough for you right now, that's fine also, okay? Give me two more, one more. Lovely stuff, okay? From there, hands out and wide. Keep the knees together. We're gonna go for uh, circles with the legs. So lock the ankles and the knees together for now. We're gonna bring the knees towards you together. Bring them to the right side of the room. Bring them away from you and circle the legs. So imagine you've got two pens sticking out of both knees and you're drawing a lovely circle on the ceiling. Keeping your lower back connected with the floor at all times, okay? So don't go too big with your circles. Why don't you straightening your legs? I want those legs 90 degrees at all times. That angle does not change. So don't be trying to be a hero and extend the legs too far. I'm not interested. I want to keep that angle short. Keep it 90 degrees and don't straighten the legs. Okay, we're going to go the opposite way. Please. I don't want anyone getting injured. Stay safe. So opposite way if you haven't started. Okay. I'm keeping my legs stuck together. Um, if you need a pillow under your head, I know some of you do. I'll say who, make sure it's under, you know who you are. In classes with me before. Otherwise, you're not getting the benefit of it. Okay, for one more. And we're gonna lower the leg down, finally. Bring your right knee into your chest, extend your opposite leg straight. Let's stretch out the butt. And the other one, walk over. And there, both legs are bent, please, for now. Until I tell you what we're doing next, we're gonna extend the left leg, okay? And then from there, extending the right arm behind. We've done this before, most deep, okay? We're gonna take an inhale to stay, so keeping the leg and arm on the floor. And then on the exhale, if you want to actually support your head with the opposite hand too. On the exhale, coming up into a sit-up position and reach your hand towards your opposite leg. So right, my right hand is going to my left leg. Lower down as you breathe in, exhale to reach. Lower down as you breathe in. Five more, please. Four. Three. Two. Last one. One. Lovely stuff. Okay, drop that leg down, and we're going to go the opposite side. So reach the right leg down to the floor, extend the left hand back and long. Right hand behind your head, please. Inhale to stay, and then on the exhale, lift that right leg up and reach towards your shin. If you find it hard to um, use a straight leg, use a bent knee. Okay, okay. If you find it hard to lift a straight leg from the floor, some people might. You can use a bent knee position. Okay, keep moving. And stop, okay? No breaks unless you really need it. Okay? Four, three, two, and last one. Good stuff. Place the foot down, please. Okay? From there, I'm going to get you to come up to seated position. I want you to bring your elbows down onto the floor, hands facing down. And this is quite challenging, okay? So we're going to go into a bridge position, okay? So push your heels into the floor, point your toes. So your heels are down, okay? Nice long line with your, with your body. And your elbows are back under your, under your uh, shoulders, okay? From there, squeeze the glutes a little bit. Take an inhale, and then the exhale, I want you to push your hips up off the floor, okay? Reverse plank. Holding this position. If you find it too much, you can bring your knees slightly into a bent position, okay? And go from there, okay? Ideally, you have straight legs, so please. Okay, three, two, one. If you're not up already, keep it up. Holding, draw the, open the chest, please. Draw those shoulders away from each other. Eye line looking up at the ceiling, not looking at your toes. For three, two, one. Gently come down. Bend your knee. Place your feet onto the floor. Bring your fingertips facing towards your back or your bum bum, okay? 
From there, we're going to take an inhale, and then with the exhale, bring your bum up off the floor. Elbows are going to go back. We're going to tricep this, okay? Take an inhale here, and then on the exhale, we're going to push up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly coming back down onto the seated position. Sitting up nice and tall, please. Holding the outer shins. Pull on the shins a little bit just to lengthen that spine, okay? And then from there, we're going to inhale, reach the hands out in front, hands facing down. Exhale, slowly let your, your ribs come down towards your pelvis so you're sinking down a little bit, rounding the spine, rolling back a little bit. Release your left hand, follow your left hand, looking at that left hand as it rotates back. And then it comes forward as you come back up to a nice tall seated position. Inhale, exhale, round and roll back. Reach that right arm back for alternating sides. Breathe in as you sit. Exhale to reach. Inhale as you come forward. Exhale. Good. Inhale forward. Exhale. We're going to do some glutes next. So, Aoife, you might get these in before you log off. Okay. Can anyone else that might have to leave early? We're going to do bum bums next. So, we'll do another five minutes if you can wait. Okay. Nearly there. Two more. The feet down, please. Last one. Lovely stuff. And coming back to your seat position. Just hug your knees, please. Wrap your arms around each other and hug your knees and just let your head rest on your knees. Take any pressure out of that lower back. Okay. From there, guys, we're going to come on to our front. Anyone that wants to put bands around their leg that doesn't have them on already, do. And you can place them just on the lower part of your thighs. Okay. Gluttons for punishment. Okay. Okay, so we're going to do circles. I don't know. We're going to do, sorry, straight leg lift. We're going to do a uh, donkey kick and then we're going to do over and back. Not there, there. Okay, so coming down onto your elbows. All right. Interlock your hands. Bring your knees under your hips, please. Okay. And relax your feet down. From there, you're going to bring your left leg up to a 90 degree angle and open the sole of your foot. Bring your knee down towards the floor and then push that sole of the foot back up to the ceiling for 10. Nine. Eight, I'm gonna be doing some spot check, okay? So don't be Jocelyn. Five, four, three, two, one. Lovely stuff. Straighten that leg, please. Lower lift for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lovely. Hold the leg there. We're going to go over, touch down the opposite side, over the other leg, over the other leg, and touch down. Then bring it back in line with your hip. We're not going wider than the hip. We're reaching over, touch down, and back. As if you're drawing a rainbow over your other leg. Okay, you got that little circle motion. Get the circle going. Half a circle. Good. For four. Come on. Three. They're burning everybody. Two, my arse is burning as well. One, <laughs> lower down, please. Get your positioning right again. So realign, hands under your shoulders. Before you begin, knees under your hips. Drop the elbows, feet are down and relaxed. Okay, we're doing the other side. Okay, when you're ready, bring that right foot towards the ceiling. Open the sole of the foot. Lower lift, you can't need now to do the other side or else you'll have one big arse and one small one. Come on, for three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. I'm still late to spot check. Nine and ten. Straight leg, please. Point the toes. Okay, straight leg and lower lift for ten. Nine. That's it. Eight, seven. Eye line, guys. Six. Good. Five, four. Three, straight, straight leg, knee, up and down, up and down, one, up and down, good. And then we're going over and back this time, okay? Ready, go for 10, 
nine, you can do your straight leg knees, <laughs> eight, seven, six, good, five, four, three, head, lift the head, one, don't drop your head, <laughs> and come down, please, come into shell stretch. <laughs> Oh Lord, see these look like you're saying your prayers. Okay, well done. You can safely take those bands off when you're ready. We're not done yet. Anyone that needs to leave, you can. If you need to. Okay, arms are long. We're resting down onto our stomach, reaching the arms long. Okay, the severe part of the class is over. We're bringing it down. Okay, eye line is down. Take a breath in, and on the exhale, I want you to lift your arms off the floor, reaching them nice and long. If that's too much, you can place your hands onto the floor, elbows down. If you have any back issues, just keep your hands down onto the floor and elbows down, and assist yourself up if you need. Okay. Everybody else, keep the arms reaching as if you're diving into the big pool of water. Okay. Holding this position, and then lower down. Take a breath in. And we're going to go the same again. Squeeze the bum before you lift. Reach the arms nice and long. I'm lifting up. And as I said, anyone else can, that's suffering with back issues, place their hands down or you feel you're a little bit weak, you can do it this way as well. It's just to have a little support there in case you need it. Okay. Safety blanket. Hold, hold, and then release down. Rest your head down onto your forehead. Rest your head down onto your hand, please. Okay, your forehead onto your hand. Point the toes and gently lock out the knees. So draw the kneecaps up, okay, and squeeze your bum. Take an inhale here, and then on the exhale, we're going to lift both feet off the floor and legs, okay? I want you to swim the legs, so up and down with your feet. Really feel the bum active, okay? Nice little flutters. Keep going, feel how tight those glutes are working. Point the toes with strong legs. Resting that head down. Rest the head down, rest it down. Give your neck a break, good. Keep going. Lifting those legs, lift the legs, ignoring a little bit. Lift the legs, straight legs, there we go. Squeezing the glutes. And for three, two, one, lovely. Rest the legs down, shell stretch. See you, Aoife. <laughs> well done. Shell stretch, please. Well done. Torture is over. There, guys, just coming onto your knees. Please. And place your hands onto your lower back, okay? So just place them down, pat it part of the hand, part of the hand with the lower back, and your fingers are reaching down towards the top there, okay? Supporting your lower back there, okay? And there, just a gentle squeeze of the glute. Okay, take, make sure your knees are under your hips. Take an inhale, and on the exhale, just leaning back a little bit, not too much, and then coming forward. Feel what's happening in your torso. Do you feel that you're kind of dropping a little bit, that you're caving in a little bit, that your back is pushing forward more? I want you to imagine that there's a brace around your back, around your midriff, and it's not allowing any shifting forward or back. So it's purely wrapped. Okay, and it can't move, and that's why your hands are kind of there as well to give you some indication of what's going on. So, drawing the chest or opening the chest, draw the elbows back and shoulders away. We're going to lean back again, everything stays nice and straight. Okay, and then coming back, just give me three more inhale to stay, exhale to lean back, and going forward. Two, big breath in, exhale to lean. Good. And last one, squeeze the bum and lean back. Okay, so come onto your hands and knees. We're, we're feeling down, by the way. So, hands and knees, we'll do a few pat out and stretch through the down. Relax your bum fully, please. Okay, stick it away. Shake, shake, shake. Inhale, stay. Exhale, we're going to tuck the pelvis and the head down at the same time. So as if you're pulling 
center of your spine up towards the ceiling. Make a nice rounded shape with your spine and drive it up as far as you can go. Push into the mat with your hands. Relax the feet down. There's no tension in the feet, please. Okay, and look down at your legs. We're going to breathe in as you open, so make sure you've got all your exhales gone. Inhale to open, so stick your bum away, soften your back, and look up with your eyes. Open the front part of your neck. And then exhale to tuck. So breathe in as you open. Exhale to close. Inhale to open. Open the neck, guys. Exhale, closing over. One more, please. Inhale to open. And exhale. And then when you're ready, slowly bring your right leg in front. So the foot down, keep your other knee down. Bring the hands onto the inner part of that right leg. Okay, so both hands are on the same side. The inner part of the right leg. Keeping your left hand down. We're going to release the right hand as you inhale, reach towards the ceiling. Rotate, looking at your hand, up towards the ceiling. Holding, breathing into this position, please. And then bring your hand back down. Okay, we're going to do two more of these. So lunging, so you're getting a hip flexor stretch going on at the same time as the fun rotation. Breathe in as you open. And exhale, holding, breathe in. Exhale. One more inhale. Slowly come down as you exhale. Give me one more. So my right leg is in front. Both hands are on the inside of my right leg. And I'm releasing my right hand. Last one on the side. Reaching and breathing. Three inhales. One more. Bring the hands down. Staying in this lunge position, I want you to lunge forward, resting your hands onto your front leg for now, and then reaching that left hand towards the ceiling. And slowly release it. Opposite leg, please. Left leg in front. And arms down on the inside of that left leg. Keeping your right hand down, release your left hand. Look up to the ceiling. Look and breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Give me one more inhale. And release down. Two more, please. Inhale, reach. And breathe out. Stay up for an inhale. Exhale. One more breath in here and lower down, exhale. Last one, please. Breathe in and reach. Rotate and exhale. Breathe in, exhale. One more inhale and slowly come down, exhale. Slowly bring yourself up to the position, lunge into that left leg a little bit deeper and then release the opposite hand, please. Nice reach with that arm, nice and long. Squeezing the glute, the back leg. Holding. Lovely. Bring both hands onto the mat. Bring your left leg back. Nearly done, guys. Bring your bum towards the ceiling into downward dog position. Okay, and march out the leg. That's a good one for your Achilles, if anyone's having problems with it. The calf. Bring your right leg behind your left leg. This is for you, Tina. Okay, push the heel down. So your right foot is wrapped around the back of your left heel. And it kind of gives it a little, it's like putting a weight on the back of the heel. It kind of drives it down a little bit deeper. It's a really good stretch. You need to have your bone high though. Nice and high. Okay, now swap over. Right foot down, left foot behind. Bring the hands back, bum high, please. And slowly come down to that. Okay, we're going to come to standing when you're ready. Okay, standing to the end of your mat. 
and we'll finish as we went in. Okay, so feet grounded under your hip. Feel the full foot down and engage. We're going to inhale to reach towards the ceiling. Exhale, go wide. Good. We're going to inhale to reach um, the ceiling. Exhale, go wide and down. Two more. Last one. Bring the hands behind your head, elbows back, leaning down gently towards the right. And back up. Don't go too deep if you struggle with any back issues. And the left feet. You can also just use your hands as a gaze and walk them down towards the outer knee and back. Again. Bring the arms forward and back after all your bridging. Lovely stuff. And then just bring your fingers interlock and just do a few rotations with that. Okay. Go on. And well done, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. Just pause the class. Thanks, Emil.